Well, CNN and other liberal media outlets reporting that there's no crisis in Sweden after President Trump mentioned crime in the country at Saturday night's rally. But take a look at these images. A Stockholm suburb was taken over by immigrant-related riots, looting, and violence. This happened last night. Police officers were attacked with stones. Shots were fired. Hundreds of first responders were called in. So what's the reality? Well, let's ask somebody who's on the ground there. Swedish columnist Ingrid Carlquist joins us now from her home country. Ingrid, what is your read on the riots and what's going on in terms of violence in Sweden right now? Okay, uh, what is going on is that we have reached a criminal, uh, a, a critical mass of people in this country who don't love Sweden, they don't love the Swedish people, they don't love the way of life we have here. They are actually telling journalists to go out into the suburbs, this is not Sweden. The rule of law doesn't apply there. And uh, this has been going on for quite a few years. And now what is happening since 2015, when we took in over 160,000 people to this country, a country of 10 million people, everything has gone, you know, really bad. Then why are we hearing this pushback from Swedish officials that, in particular, the police officers, I mean, they're, they're all saying, no, it's, it's not, it's just violence, it's crime. I mean, why is there this kind of different story coming out from the Swedish um, administration, if you will? Yeah. Yeah, because the establishment, they have been working so hard for so many years telling people that we have no problem with immigration. We let all these people in because we want to be a humanitarian superpower. Sweden is a rich country. We have so much place and you don't have to worry. Now people are really worried and now they have to sort of, you know, try to cover up what's been going on. And that is why so few people have the courage to say what is going on. These two police officers that you referred to, I think, was from the Ami Horowitz story. Uh, I don't know why they say now that that was bad, that they didn't say that. But we had another police officer uh, one week ago, Peter Springer, and he told the story about because he's going to retire in a few weeks and then he finally told the truth that in his on his desk all the big all the violent crimes that he is working with is committed by immigrants so you know there is really an uproar in sweden right now people are so scared so worried and the authorities just keep telling us don't worry no problem mm. you 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 just imagine these things well, Ingrid, you know, that kind of was my next question, but I'm still going to ask it. Do you think that the Swedish people now regret letting in so many immigrants from, in particular, Syria? But of course, the Swedish people never voted to have this immigration. The Swedish people have been fooled by politicians telling them that it was just a tiny little, you know, a tiny minority coming into our country. It would never affect Sweden. It would never bring Sweden to another country than a Swedish country. Now people are waking up and they are seeing, my God, Sweden is not Swedish anymore. They actually mm. decided that we are not going to be a Swedish country. We're going Sweden to be a multicultural country. Sweden is not Swedish anymore. Oh, my gosh. Uh, thank you, Ingrid Carlquist, a Swedish writer there, for your perspective from the ground. We really appreciate it.